What's up guys, FishBreaks85 here and today we're going to be taking a look at Hammond Collection, Dr. Ian Malcolm and Dr. Alan Grant. So with that being said guys, you can see here, this is them in the package. I'm about to open these guys up. This is like the other Hammond Collection figures we've gotten so far with this cool artwork on the side you can see here. And then it says something about each of these uh, characters. On the back right here, it says, During his visit to Jurassic Park, Dr. Ian Malcolm's expertise in chaos theory comes to light in a painfully personal way. And then right here, it says, Ian, freeze. It's clear that holding an infant velociraptor is far from the only surprise that awaits Dr. Alan Grant on his treacherous tour of Jurassic Park. So with that being said, guys, Welcome to Jurassic Park. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we have Ian Malcolm and Alan Grant out of their Hammond Collection packaging. And the first thing I'm going to cover is Ian Malcolm because he was always my favorite character in the series. My favorite in both The Lost World and uh, the original Jurassic Park, even though I did like him a little bit better in The Lost World. But I was still a fan of him in the original. Uh, just kind of caught my fancy. I liked his attitude, the way he talked, uh, everything about him. Just kind of more my style than Alan Grant, even though, don't get me wrong, Alan Grant was really cool too. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'd have to say that Ian, Malcolm, and Ellie were probably two of my favorites. Now, uh, this guy doesn't come with a bunch of extra hands or anything like that, but he does come with this flair. He comes with a couple of extra arms. You can take his jacket off, change it out, and make it look like it does when he's not wearing the jacket. And, um, he's just kind of got, like, short sleeves going on. So, that's pretty cool if you ask me. And then over here, of course, we have Alan Grant. Now, he comes with couple of extra hands uh one's actually holding the raptor claw uh like he used in the beginning of the movie with the little kid where he scared the crap out of the kid with the six foot turkey and then he actually comes with a gloved hand like michael jackson so he can hold the uh baby raptor in the laboratory and then here is uh his plastic surgeon um botox looking extra head where the lips look kind of botoxed in my opinion and it's just not a great uh replica of alan grant but um or sam neill as it may be he also comes with a flare because you know flares are super popular in the jurassic world and we have to have like ten thousand of these um but these are not just see-through flares like the legacy no no mattel did us a courtesy and actually painted them red and uh in hopes of tricking us and making us think that they were giving us a different kind of accessory. Uh, you know, they can paint flares, but they can't paint tells. Uh, but that's a whole different rant video, and that video is still to come soon. I still plan on doing my um, Hasbro, Kenner, Mattel rant video. And you guys will see what I'm talking about when I do eventually do that video. It's been planned for a while. I just haven't really taken the time I need to do it. But anyway, this has been a look at Alan Grant and uh, Ian Malcolm now. I might actually take time real quick before I end this video and change a couple of things. I might like switch out a head or two, put on the Michael Jackson glove, maybe take off the jacket and just to give you guys a different look at these characters. Um, so I'm going to do that real quick before I end this video and then that will be it for me. Let's do it. Fishbricks85, you guys know what it is. Okay, so here is a look at the different arms and the jacketless Ian Malcolm. And here is Grant with the other alternative head, the glove. He's holding the raptor. His uh, lips look a little bit like he's wearing some kind of lady's lipstick. Or, uh, I don't know, maybe has Botox. Or maybe he's just downright cold and they're turning blue. I'm not sure. Um, but it's not bad. I mean, I'm not knocking these figures by any means. I think they're pretty cool. And um, definitely more um, functional and more articulation than the Legacy Collection. So these are not by any means horrible figures. Um, I downright think Ian actually looks pretty good, better than Alan. 
Um, and Ellie looks even better than both of them, in my opinion. And uh, Muldoon and uh, Ray Arnold. Ray Arnold's by far the best, in my opinion. Um, but anyway, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And as always, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you smash on that thumbs up button. And as always, we'll see you next time.